Hi. So, in previous videos, we studied how images are formed when we have object at specific places. Now, in this video, we will try and mathematically relate how are the image distance, the object distance, and the focal length are related with each other. And we will study some in another important part called magnification of an image. Now, we will see how to use the mirror formula and most and more importantly how to derive it so first we'll study something about sign convention and you sign convention when we deal with mirrors now the convention is that when a light ray well that's how a light ray enters that's how the incident direction this direction okay this one is considered to be positive why this is just a convention which we use to make things more general so if light ray comes from left to right we can call uh, this side as negative and this side as positive so this side is positive all the objects and this one will be negative now in order to do this we can imagine our mirror the pole of the mirror to be placed at the origin of this cartesian plane so we imagine our mirror we put the mirror on the card on a graph and we call this point the pole as our origin now what about heights of objects so say an object is somewhere something like this now the, again the convention is that all the distances above the principal axis for example height of this object is considered to be positive so all the directions above are positive and obviously all the directions which are negative or below the principal axis are considered to be negative so in general that's how we draw our concave mirror all the reflecting side towards the negative x axis okay and all the right rays come and they will converge and that's how you usually draw the convex mirror with the reflecting side on our x axis okay and the focus the, towards the positive side now notice that the focus of the concave mirror is negative it will lie somewhere over there so this distance is negative and the focus of the con our convex mirror is positive and the convention for drawing uh, objects is that objects like this one this is an object the height is positive so we place an object in order uh, above the principal axis the, so the height of the object is positive now that you have understood the conventions let us derive our mirror formula so here is the basic setup there is an object light rays come they get reflected so this is a parallel one it gets reflected uh, passes through the focus and instead of drawing the uh, ray which was passing through the center of curvature i have taken this one the one which goes on it's the pole of the mirror and then reflects okay now let it labels few things see this is this is the height of the object okay so we can call this as h o height of the object and how will our image form well our image will form something like this okay yeah and the height of the image is denoted by h i height of image now this is the important part that the height of image is negative because that's our sign convention now this distance from the object to the pole of the mirror is represented by u this is called the object distance okay and the distance of the image from the pole is known as v the image distance that's that the other symbols and of course the focal length is called f so somewhere over here this is the this is our focal length f good enough now we need to find the relationship between heights of the objects and these three terms how do we go about it well the part is the clever part is to use properties of something we have studied something properties of similar triangles 
now we need to relate first we relate height of object to the height of image now if you notice this triangle this one okay so notice how my pencil goes and this triangle this one the smaller one these triangles these triangles are similar why because these two angles are 90 degree and this angle will also be equal to this one because angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection and then by criteria these are similar triangles so how do we write the equations so we get height of image okay but the height of image is negative so we put a negative sign divided by the height of object what is this because the similar triangles the ratio of every side is every side is proportional and so height of image divided by the height of object will be this distance divided by this one now we will consider the values not the magnitude of the distance we will actually consider the value so since this is towards the negative x axis so this distance will be negative and what is this distance it's the distance of the height of if the image from the pole and this will be v so height of image uh, the height of object will be minus v over this distance because these triangles are similar and this distance is minus u okay minus u now we can deal with the negative signs and we can write that the image height upon the object height is minus v by u now this let me box this e equation because this is very important we can use it later now let us find out the relationships between v uh, v u and f okay because these are two unknowns and one equation so we can't really solve this one which triangle shall we consider hmm we consider this one okay and this one but then you might say hey this is not a triangle this is circular arc therefore this this is not a you know this is not a straight line and triangle is formed using straight line but that's the approx approximation i want you to notice the thing is all these equations all these formulae and do you not know, the image like ray diagrams we have studied all these are valid if our rays are parallel to the principal axis yes and very close to the principal axis now why close see because if you you know come down as you gradually come down this separation okay this separation gradually decreases so the closer you are to the principal axis the better your approximation is therefore we approximate this length okay the curved part to the straight line so these two are approximately equal because if you notice this size is negligible now if these two are similar these two are, this this is of same magnitude of same equal this will be, again will be height of object ho now which two triangles can we take so we need to be really clever to spot this one this triangle and this triangle so yeah these are 90 degree and these these two angles are obviously equal vertical opposite angles therefore these two triangles are similar and what can we write we can write something similar since the sides are pro uh, proportional we can write minus hi height of image divided by ho okay now what are the corresponding sides so we won't take the diagonals because they are of no use to us okay so we take very special cases this distance so h hi by h o is this distance okay now what what is this distance this is v minus f clearly this is v minus f so minus uh, is equal to minus v because we are taking the uh, signs minus of the focal is focus itself is negative so minus f divided by our focal length and focal length is negative and that's how similarity works and then you can simplify this okay now this implies that okay let me 
or this note so minus h i by h o will be minus v plus f by minus f okay yeah so we we can do this h i by h o will be nothing but f minus v upon minus f okay and then therefore we get it h i by h o is nothing but v minus f upon f okay now here is the important part the left hand side of these two boxes are equal therefore this ratio must be equal to this ratio that's the important part i need you to figure out so we can equate these and by equating we get minus v by u is v minus f upon f okay now if we expand this term we get something like v minus u minus v by u is v by f okay minus 1 and then you can divide we can we will get by both sides by v we get you know 1 by u equal to 1 by f minus 1 by v okay and then we can arrange it into a similar form this 1 by v plus 1 by u is nothing but 1 by f so this is our mirror equation This is a mirror formula, and notice this is general. This is true for every case. We have proved this using a concave mirror, but this is general for every case because this is sign sensitive. So the important thing is whenever we use this formula, we need to be aware of the signs. And the ratio h i by h o, okay, the image distance to the image height to the object height is itself called magnification. So m is nothing but h i by H O height of image divided by height of object, which is minus v by u. So as a summary, today we learned relationship between the image distance, object object distance, and the focal length. One by v plus one by u is one by f, and we learned what is magnification is the ratio of height, image height divided by the object height, which itself is minus v by u. So we get so we if you have image distance you have object distance you can easily calculate what the magnification is so thanks for watching and i hope you like this one